Matthew Perry, widely recognized for his role in the enduringly popular sitcom Friends, remained eternally youthful on screen, making his sudden demise at 54 particularly distressing. However, the circumstances surrounding his passing are unsettling. From the unclear cause of death to the peculiar timing, coupled with enigmatic Instagram posts foretelling the event, an eerie and premeditated air hangs over the situation. Typically, when such occurrences unfold, I anticipate some clarity to emerge after a few days, hoping for revelations to debunk any ominous speculations. Yet, more than a week following Perry's passing, uncertainty prevails, intensifying the unsettling nature of the incident. Curiously, the media's coverage largely fixates on the words drug presenting a narrative akin to previously discussed celebrity deaths. Consequently, Perry's case appears distressingly familiar, prompting a deeper analysis into the circumstances encompassing his untimely demise. Despite the unsettling and puzzling nature of his death, mainstream coverage remains evasive, perpetuating a narrative that fails to address the complexities at play. After a day of pickleball on October 28, Matthew Perry was discovered lifeless in his Los Angeles home's hot tub. Despite ruling out foul play and illegal drugs, the apparent drowning explanation raises questions. Even a week later, the cause of death remains unknown. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner, addressing the delay, mentioned completing the autopsy with pending toxicology results. Dr. Michael Baden, former New York City Chief Medical Examiner, emphasized the absence of fentanyl and meth in Perry's system, questioning the delay in releasing the cause of death. Matthew Perry's cause of death would have been immediately evident if it were a heart attack, stated Dr. Baden to Fox News Digital. Emphasizing the importance of Vicodin and alcohol in Perry's history, he stressed the need for complete toxicology results. Dr. Baden highlighted the delayed announcement of a natural cause of death, theorizing about potential heart issues, and suggesting that this information would have been promptly disclosed to spare the family from drug-related speculations. The exclusive interview shed light on the ongoing investigation and the complexities surrounding Perry's untimely passing. The actual cause of death, much like similar cases, may take weeks to unveil, potentially remaining ambiguous. Contrary to media speculation, Perry's acquaintances emphasize his sobriety and lack of suicidal tendencies. Additionally, his recent interactions, such as a cheerful lunch date and enthusiastic discussions about upcoming plans, further counteract the suggested narrative. Affirming his sobriety since 2021, Perry's personal accounts, along with his companion's testimonials, challenge the prevailing assumptions surrounding his tragic passing. So, if Perry did not die of natural causes, nor of an overdose, and did not commit suicide, what could have happened? Could he be yet another ritual sacrifice of the occult elite, right during the most sacrificial time of the year? If that sounds crazy to you, I agree. It is completely crazy. But we live in a crazy world, and everything about this death points directly towards this craziness. Here are some eerie facts about this sad event. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. First eerie fact. Perry is yet another celebrity who was found dead in a bathtub. Whitney Houston, who died in mysterious circumstances, was found in a bathtub. Her daughter Bobby, who died in very mysterious circumstances, was also found in a bathtub. Almost exactly one year ago, another celebrity was found dead in a bathtub. Aaron Carter. Once again, his death was highly suspicious, and, like Perry, the media solely focused on his addictions, while completely ignoring other bizarre facts. His own mother believes he was murdered. Another similarity between the deaths of Perry and Carter is, they both occurred around Samhain, the occult holiday that takes place on Halloween, which happens to be the most sacrificial time of the year. For centuries, ancient cultures have been practicing human sacrifices during this spiritually potent period. Carter died on November 5, 2022. 
Do you recall what happened exactly one year prior, on November 5, 2021? Astroworld, the highly demonic concert where 10 people died as Travis Scott carried on performing. As explained in my video about Astroworld, the week of Samhain, Halloween, is, in occult circles, the most potent time for blood sacrifices. Every year, high-profile yet unexplained deaths occur during that time. Perry died around Samhain. Even worse, he died exactly during a full moon, which is said to multiply the magical potency of a sacrifice. Well, these facts might sound like coincidences, they've all been alluded to in Perry's final Instagram posts. You can't make this up. After months of inactivity on Instagram, Perry, or whoever handles his account, posted a series of cryptic pictures that appear to be predicting the time and place of his death. On October 17, Perry posted a TV screen playing the film The Batman, with the caption, No need to worry, I've got the streets tonight. Several of his last posts bizarrely refer to Batman, or Matman. Some believe that Perry was sending out bat signals, which indicate that someone is in distress. One thing is for sure, Perry was clearly fascinated by Batman. The final words of his memoirs refer to Batman. His final public words also refer to Batman. Two days later, Perry posted another bat signal. Two days later, Perry posted this very bizarre picture that said, Batman plays pickleball. As stated earlier, Perry died shortly after playing pickleball. His first caption was done. Later, he posted a comment saying, rest easy, I'm on a tall building. One of the most liked comments mentions that the words rest easy ended up being premonitory. The next day, Perry posted a video of three cranberries with the caption, this is what I've had to eat today. I'm Atman. People were quick to point out that this post might be a reference to Dolores Riordan, the lead singer of the cranberries. In 2018, she was found dead in a bathtub in bizarre circumstances. You truly can't make this up. On the same day, Perry posted a Halloween pumpkin emitting a bat signal, with a caption, do you know what I mean? Again, on October 22nd, Perry posted this picture of the moon with the caption, do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? I'm Atman. Evidently, Perry, or whoever handled his account, was trying to say something with these three cryptic pictures posted the same day. Maybe the message was. Around Halloween and during the full moon, in a matter similar to the lead singer of the Cranberries. And maybe Perry didn't post any of this. Maybe his handlers posted these pictures, as part of a mega ritual, meant to shock and upset the entire world, at this highly potent time of the year. The next day Perry posted a final pic, one that takes the strangeness to another level. In his very last post, Perry sits in the jacuzzi in which he'll die a few days later, with the caption, Oh, so warm water swirling around you makes you feel good. I'm Matman. Also, the picture was purposely framed to capture the moon. Five days after this last pic, Perry was found dead in this very tub. And it was right during the full moon. How many coincidences need to happen before they stop being coincidences? The least one can say is that there's something off about Matthew Perry's death. And, when one knows a bit about the modus operandi of the occult elite, things get very suspicious. First, it appears that dead in a bathtub is becoming a calling card of the occult elite. Second, if one wanted to carry a ritual sacrifice, the timing of Matthew Perry's death could not have been more perfect. The elite loves to carry out mega rituals, highly mediatized sacrifices that cause shock and sorrow on a global scale, around this time of year, because it is when the veil between the material and the spirit worlds is the thinnest. All these facts might seem easy to dismiss, all of them were alluded to in Perry's final Instagram posts. The bat signals indicated that he was in distress. The Halloween pumpkin referred to Samhain and the time of his death. Pictures of the moon referred to the upcoming full moon, the exact moment he would die. The cranberries alluded to celebrities dying in tubs. Finally, in the very last post, he's sitting in the tub in which he'll be found dead. 
Some believe that these clues were left by Perry as he was planning his suicide. But maybe other people were planning his suicide, the same people who have been suiciding celebrities for decades. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.